we will be doing a walk both for the change in sales amounts, the dollar change, as well as the average selling price. Hello, today's video is in response to a question asked by John about calculating average selling price and then analyzing the impact from price changes and mix. So we start with average selling price and learn to calculate the impact from price, volume and mix on selling prices. So great question. Thanks, John, for sending the question. We have in this table data for product sales for product one to five for the year 2022 and 2023. And we have units and amount. So first off, we want to update our summary table with the units, the sales dollars and the change in sales dollars. To do this, we will use the sum ifs function. You probably are familiar with sum if and sum ifs. Sum ifs with an S in the end is used where you have more than one criteria. In this case, we want to choose unit sales for product one, which is criteria number one, and then year 2022, which is our criteria number two. So start with sum ifs and you open the brackets and the first column that you will select will be the units. Separate it by a comma. The second selection would be the criteria range, which is the product range in this case, followed by the criteria itself, which in this case will be linked to the cell, which refers to product one, G5. Then you can select the second criteria, which is the year. And similarly, you can select the cell where your criteria is. I'm just gonna freeze the cell reference for H3 where year 2022 is. Close the bracket, press enter, and you'll see we have 30 units sold. Now I'll just copy the formula down. For dollar, I would just copy the formula and make a small change. We need dollar amount. So instead of using the units as the sum range, we use dollars. Okay. And you have total dollar sales for 2022. I'm going to do quickly the same thing for 2023. The only thing that will change is the year reference will change to 2023. So let me do that. So what we see here is our units sales increased from 545 to 575 and our total sales increased by $54,608. And here is the change by product. Now at this point, we can calculate the average selling price for both years. So 2022 would simply be your total sales for 2022 divided by the units sold. And the same applies for 2023 total sales divided by the units sold. So you see the average selling price has increased by $37.07. The question is how to explain this increase in average selling price of $37. Is it all due to price? How much of that is mix? Because when you see changes in average selling price, it's not always the change in price that's leading the change in average selling price. Okay. So we will split out. We will separate out that mix impact from the price impact. Let's just quickly copy this calculation of average selling price over to the product. Now you can see at a product level, what was the price change? So you see in all cases, the price has increased between 22 and 23. Does that price increase lead to the overall increase of $37 and seven cents? Let's see. Let's start with the price variance impact. How do we calculate price variance? It's very simple. You take the change in price, which is a positive 2.46 in this case, and multiply by the actual unit sold for the current year. So remember, whenever you are doing this kind of analysis, price variance is always calculated based on considering the units sold in your current or actual scenario. So in this case, this is 2023 and we are comparing it with 2022. The impact of price for product one is $78.67. And again, I just copy and paste this formula all the way down and total is roughly $10,000. So you see, so far we've only explained 10,000, but we know the total change is 54,608. Now let's do the next one, which is volume. We could do volume at a product level, but it's faster to do it at total level because at product level, what really matters is the mix impact, okay? So let's start with the volume first. The volume increased to 575 from 545 units. And we multiply this Why? this is important, the selling price of last year. Okay, when you're doing a volume increase, you will not consider the, sell the average selling price of this year because price impact we have already calculated in the price variance. Okay, press enter, and that's your volume impacts. So 10,000 from price, 33,000 from volume. Now mix is simply the difference, but we wanna calculate it to show that it really is 
driven by mix okay so for this what we will do is we'll do the mix calculation so what is mix calculation for 2022 it's just your product unit sold so i'm calculating now for product one divided by the total unit sold and i'll press f4 so that the total number is locked press enter that's six percent copy it all the way down all five products and you see your total is 100%. So that's the split of the product sales in units in 2022. For 2023, we do the same thing. Press F4, enter, and copy the calculation. And here you can see the difference in mix, right? It's always going to be 0% in total because this is really the change, right? So product one increased in mix. So there's a slightly larger mix of product one product two, product three, product four, only product five actually dropped in the mix. And you can see the unit sales went from 15 to five, which is from 3% to 1%. So that is the drop in mix. Now, how do we calculate mix variance impact at product level? Let's see. Now to calculate mix variance, follow me carefully. Put an equal to sign and then you open the brackets and you look at the average selling price for previous year. It's going to be 2022. If you are comparing against budget, it will be the budget number, okay? So you look at product one's average selling price, which is $15.67, and subtract from it the average selling price for all of the products in 2022, which is 1109 So we can clearly see this product, product one, has a very low average selling price compared to the average for this company. And because of this, the more that we sell this product or the higher the mix of this product in the overall mix, the worse it is for your selling price. So I close the bracket, then multiply that with the change in mix, whether there is an increase in mix or decrease in mix. Okay. And then multiply this with the total units sold for 2023. Press enter. There you get the mix impact. So it's 381. So what we are saying here is product one has a lower selling price than our average. So it's not good for the mix. And as a result, an increase in product one's mix in the total unit sales is unfavorable for the business. So it has a negative mix impact. Before I copy the formula down, I want to make sure that I lock the cell references, which should not move. So one of them is N10. So I click here and press F4. And the other one is J10, which is the total unit sales. So I press F4 again, and then I press enter. And now I copy control C, control V, and I have the total mix impact. And see, this actually matches now. The total of these three, 54,608 matches exactly the total change. So with this calculation, you have been able to explain the total impact from price, volume, and mix difference. Now, what about the average selling price? How do you tell how much of this $37.07 is price versus mix? There will be no volume impact because if your price and mix remains the same, then no matter how much change there is in volume, the average selling price will not change, right? So we calculate the impact on average selling price from price by taking the price variance and divide it by the total unit sold. So that's $17.29. And similarly for mix, this would be the mix impact divided by total unit sold which is $19.78. So if I add the two, $37, there you go. So you have a complete walk now, both in terms of dollar change as well as the average selling price change. And you can tell what's driving that. Just looking at the change, $37.07, you cannot say that between 2022 and 2023, the company has increased their average selling price by $37. On a net basis, the impact is there, but it is driven both by price increase as well as the change in mix. So that's why it's important to understand. If you have some more questions you would like to ask, make sure to leave them in the comment section. You can also message me directly. Book a one-on-one -on -one session with me if you think there is an area where I can help you. Contact me through the links provided in the description below. If you are involved with analyzing and presenting income statement, including walks for net sales, gross profit, or EBITDA bridges, as well as explaining the gross profit and EBITDA percentage bridge versus prior year and versus budget, and would like to learn how to convert all of this information into waterfall charts, I have a complete course. Please do check out the course link in description below. I hope you found this information useful. 
If you did, please click thumbs up and make sure you follow or subscribe for more.